hello so friends welcome back to another sewing episode today i'm going to show us the creative bodies pattern technique that will up your game in making bodies designs my name is ajilam if this is your first time of coming across my channel you're welcome please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future sewing episodes so guys let's get started as usual, I'm going to start with the body's pattern, which is the most important part of this tutorial. So you need to have your sketch. As you can see, I have my body's pattern sketched out already. So I will just um, insert the neckline. So the first thing to do here is to mark out the yoke part. All right. So to do that, I'm going to come over to this part meanwhile if you don't know how to draft a basic bodies pattern i already have a video on that so i'm going to drop the link in the description box for you to check that out so i'll come over to this point this is the side and check what i have there and then divide that by two so i'll just fold my tape into two like this just to get the midpoint so this is it and then i'm going to mark the point on my paper okay so this is the point so i'll come over to this other side on this chest line i'll just go up by one and one inch you can see the way i am placing my tape and then i'm going to mark it on that armhole area so i'm going to connect now from this point to this point now this is going to be the yoke part and also where i'll be placing the fabric and the plate so i'll just connect this using my ruler meanwhile this pattern is for a two year old you can do this no matter the age all you need to do is to follow the process but work with your own measurement so i'm just connecting now for this design there's so many ways of doing this i'm just showing you the easy way out for me this is the easy way out even if you're a beginner just follow the video keenly and you can easily recreate this so now this is it this part is going to be for the yoke then i'm going to mark out the neck depth now for the neck width i am using two and a quarter you can see that is what i'm using for this because i want the neck area to be a little open now for the same uh, for the neck depth i am using the same two and a quarter at the end of the day my plate will also come you know to close up that chest area so i will just quickly connect okay now for this the pattern is very simple it is the sewing and the fabric placement that is the real work all right for this so let me just quickly finish the pattern so we can start the real uh, work which is the fabric placement and the pleats okay so now the front pattern is ready Okay, so my fabric is going to be on this. That is the lace or any embellishment of your choice. It is going to be for this part. While this side is for both the pleats and the yoke. So I'll just label this the yoke and pleats. Now, for this other side, you can choose which way to place it. If you like, you can make this smaller side to be on this side. While this should be on the other side. It all depends on how you want yours to be. Now, for the back pattern, I'm going to be um marking out one inch rather right, i'm going to use 0 0.75 as the neck depth for the back side okay you can see that for the back side i normally use half inch but for this i just want it to be a little open so that's why i'm using 0 0.75 you can also use one inch for the neck depth for the back side now for the back yoke you can decide to create any design of your choice but for, uh, for the back but for me i am going to maintain this part you know this is the armhole line i'm going to maintain this side as the yoke so let me just extend the line so i'm going to leave it as it is so all this part is going to be the yoke you can see that this is very easy so i'll just go ahead and cut this out so we can start the work proper
here it is after cutting on my fabric you can see that i included my half inch sewing allowance on this slash and also on this other one so i'm going to show you how to cut out the pleats that is going to be um, on that front side now you can see that i have my satin spread out now this is the height of my satin i just folded it for easy um, cutting so this part is closed you can see while this other side is open now this side that is open is going to be the side that i'm going to be keeping on the side that is the front side while this is going to be the center front this part that is closed so what i'm going to do now is to come to this end that is open and go down by five or six inches okay so i'll just fold it well and then mark five I'm going to use six inches because I really want the curve to be uh, visible. Although at the end of the day, one part um, will not be shown. By the time we add the lace or the embellishment, one side will not be visible. So this is my six inches. So I'll just you know use my free hand to connect it to meet up to this end. This part is going to be the way it is. So I'll just connect like this to to give it a little. Curve. so this part is what i'll be using for the plate now you can decide how many inches you want to use for the plate for instance for you to know what to use for the plate you can just take this part this is the yoke part you know the plate is going to come in on this part okay so you can measure what you have here wherever you want the plate to end okay so what i normally do is to measure what I have on this center neckline you can see that here I have I'm going to use the pattern because this one here is my sewing allowance so I'm going to use the actual that is the um, neck depth on the pattern and then measure to know what I have here so this is three inches remember that this is also my sewing allowance is not included so from here to here is three inches that is to say you can decide uh, to use it three inches or less like it all depends on what you have in mind so i'll just go with these three inches because i don't want it to exceed uh, the neckline so i'll be working the height of my pleats now is going to be three inches so you can just keep that in mind so you can see that i have 16 inches here okay so there's no how you fold this that it will not be more than enough to cover the front side even if you want to do for the back side it should be enough so first and foremost mark this to this end and then measure follow the curve as it is and then measure the three inches but for this i'll be making it four inches because i need my half inch for the joining allowance okay and then i'll be using this same satin as the lining this way it will give my plate a little weight you can also add your hair stay so that your, uh, your satin will have a little weight you know to stand on that front side after sewing so let me just quickly connect this and then mark the three inches out so we can start the sewing
after joining the shoulders and the neckline you can see what i have here i've done the back side already so i'm left to finish up with the front side so now this is my plate this is what i'm going to use to create the plate now for this plate you can just uh, be creative on your own so you just place it on top like this and then fold you know just fold the plate okay you're going to be doing that on top of this other side so that you can know what you have so just go ahead and fold your plate once you get once, once you're okay with what you have you can go ahead and use your pin to hold it very well before taking it to your sewing machine to sew so i will just go ahead and fold then i will now take to my sewing machine and just join this down part after joining the down part you will now place it the way you fold it and then follow the same shape that you have under and cut okay so you're going to follow this shape that we have under and cut off the part that is not needed after your pleats all right i'll also show you as i'm doing mine so you can see the way i'll be doing it so i'll just fold once i'm okay with what i have i'll pin and then stitch it together all right then for the sleeve now this is what i'm going to do to get my sleeve i'm going to use this paper to just quickly show you what i'll be doing on this sleeve part so i'll just open it up this way and the sleeve will come in after you're done with the pleats on the bodies so i'll just open it up this is the sleeve area and then just mark out this shape that i have here and connect it straight now this is optional if you want you can just you know use your free hand or do whatever you want on the sleeve area so this is what i'm doing with mine i'm going to cut out this shape exactly as it is and then use my slash and spread method a little on it okay so this is what i'll be cutting out for the sleeve let me make it visible for you to see it very well so i'll be cutting this out now and then use my slash and spread method only on this part this other side is going to remain straight okay so i'll use the slash and spread method you know to um, add a little ruffle on this part that is going to be on the on the sleeve so you can see the shape that i have here so i'll just cut it out then use my slash and spread method to create a little ruffle on that shoulder area okay and i'll be using my net as a sleeve now this is the shape that i have now for the slash and spread method i will just open it up a little but don't cut it all the way through okay because i want this down part to be the way to be as it is i don't want to add any ruffles on that end so just open it up like this just a little on my net because i'll be using the net to create to uh, i'll be using the net as the sleeve so just open it a little and cut and then gather it just a little on this end all right so let me just quickly finish what i just explained now and then finish up the dress
right here we are after joining everything together this is how my plate looks like um, by the time i'm done with the fabric placement i'll just use my needle just to hold it so that it will not be moving around so this is my lace i'm going to trim this part off and then use my needle and thread all right from this part i'll just use my needle and thread to stitch this in neatly if you prefer using your gum you can do that but i don't like working with gum so i'll use my hand needle and my um thread to stitch this now on it so i'll just cut out the shape that i want you know just trim it out and then cut out the shape and then use my needle to stitch it all around okay so i'll quickly do this part and then show us the final look of this